Yes, thank you. Let's get some more on all of this. Democratic Senator Ed Markey of Massachusetts is joining us. He's a member of the Foreign Relations Committee. Senator, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Good to see you. So well, let's uh, talk about the breaking news. Secretary Kelly's uh, saying that the electronics ban keeps him awake at night, that the threat is real. He said the ban now on bringing electronics, iPads, iPhones onto planes uh, from anywhere, in effect, uh, could expand everywhere, not just a, a few of those countries. Have you seen intelligence, Senator, supporting this? Do you think it should be everywhere, that ban should be expanded? Well, it should be a concern. Uh, Mohammed Atta and the other nine hijacked two planes from Logan Airport in 2001. They used box cutters inside of the passenger cabin. Uh, and then they created a catastrophe in our country. They try to find the easiest way in order to create uh, an event which they believe uh, will have a terrorizing effect upon the American people. Uh, I had to fight for five years in order to pass a law, which I was successful in 2007, to screen all cargo on passenger planes in our country. The airline industry and the cargo industry fought me from September 11th of 2001 all the way to January of 2007. We know how Al-Qaeda how ISIS operates. We know what they're trying to do. We know that they put airlines at the top of their terrorist target list. So they'll look for any aperture to be successful. So our goal has to be to close it down. And if there is credible information that says that there is now a way that they are exploring in order to take explosive devices onto planes using the electronic devices of passengers, then we have to put in place these safeguards that ensure that they cannot be successful. We have gone from September 11th of 2001 until today. We have done the job. We have to look at these new threats because mm -hmm. they're constantly trying to develop the means to achieve that end. All right, that's a good point. Uh, let's move on to some some other uh, developing uh, stories right now. The White House saying the onus uh, uh, is on the Obama administration, the Obama administration for offering uh, retired General Michael Flynn a, a 2016 security clearance after his 2015 trip uh, to Moscow. Is the Obama administration responsible for not catching that Flynn was paid for that Russia speech? Uh, look, at the Trump administration has to stop blaming and they have to start explaining. Uh, obviously, uh, this man, General Flynn, was the president's national security advisor throughout the entire Trump campaign. Then throughout the transition, he played the same team. Uh, he played the same role. And then uh, he was actually appointed national security advisor. The Trump administration had a responsibility to ask all of the questions about whether or not there were conflicts of interest that General Flynn was bringing to this job. And what the House Oversight Committee has asked is for the Trump White House to provide all of the documentation as to what questions they asked General Flynn. Because clearly, in the campaign and then after the campaign, there was a clear impression that was left that there was going to be a very strong relationship between President Putin and President Trump. And we have to know, as the American people, what in fact uh, was going on. And that's why more than the Pentagon, more than the House and Senate committees, we now, I think, need a special prosecutor. Yep. in order to get to the bottom of this case. S Senator, uh, there's a lot more we need to discuss, including the nuclear tensions right now with North Korea, but we have to take a break. We're going to resume our conversation right after this.